This is a great recipe for using up lots of zucchini and squash, which are abundant in the summertime in CSAs, farmers markets, the local grocery store. I also love this recipe because it's a hit with people that don't usually like zucchini or squash. This is a recipe where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is about five ounces of cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna go ahead and grate this. Um, you can do this with a box grater, but if you do have a food processor with a shredding attachment, this is the time to use it because we're gonna do a lot of shredding in this recipe and it'll go more quickly um, this way. But the results are great if you just have a box grater. So I'm gonna shred this cheddar cheese. Just throw that in the food processor. And I'll go ahead and set the cheese aside for now. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get our squash ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the squash. Just taking out the ends. All right, so I've trimmed the squash and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into pieces that will fit in the food processor. zucchini and patty pan squash through the food processor and I'm going to put it into a mesh bag. If you don't have a bag like this, you can certainly use a clean kitchen towel, one that doesn't really you know, shed any lint. So we're going to put the squash in our bag. And so I used um, two patty pan squash and a zucchini. So shredded this ends up being about three cups. And now I'm gonna squeeze this, and I think you'll be amazed at how much liquid comes out of this. Squash and zucchini have a ton of water in them, and so we're gonna squeeze a lot of that liquid out now. The reason this is an important step is because we're getting a ton of the liquid out, which would otherwise make our end product really soggy. Now, of course, you can do this over the sink, but I wanted to show you how much liquid comes out of these tiny squash. All right, so we'll discard this liquid and set the squash aside. Next, we're gonna get our dry ingredients ready. And for this particular recipe, I'm really not too fussy with the measurements. I typically will do a few heaping spoonfuls of flour, about like that, so maybe a little more than a quarter of a cup. And to my flour, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Then I'll add a little pinch of salt. And mix that so that the dry ingredients are combined. I'll set that aside. And then next, I'm going to crack an egg and just lightly beat it. And I have a really pretty green egg from one of our friends who raises chickens. Next, I'm going to chop two green onions. And I'll use the white part and most of the green part as well. Now I'm going to go back to our zucchini and squash. And I'm gonna give it one more squeeze over the sink. All right, now I'll turn the zucchini and patty pan squash out into a bowl. And now I'll put our other ingredients right in here. Combine all the ingredients so we have a homogeneous mixture. I'm going to put a little crack of black pepper in here too. So everything is thoroughly combined. Now we're going to hit the stove. I've preheated my pan over medium heat. Now I'll spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. 
Now I'm gonna form my fritters, and this works really well if you use soup spoons because you can get a nice round shape and it makes forming them really easy. So I'm gonna do kind of rounded tablespoons of my mixture, and we wanna kind of compress them as they form. I'm gonna kind of push them down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip one, see how it's doing. That's pretty good. We could even let it get a little more brown, but that's fine. I'm gonna let these other ones go a little bit longer. The ones towards the center of the pan are gonna cook more quickly. The fritters are best hot off the pan, but you wanna do these in batches, so you can put extras on a plate with some paper towel to keep them from getting too soggy out. I'm gonna reduce the heat a little bit because they have good browning on them, but I just wanna make sure they cook all the way through. Serve the fritters with plain Greek yogurt and your favorite hot sauce.